We are in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to change the default storage preferences. Just go ahead and click on the icon in the upper left hand corner, Configuration Settings, and then click on Backup Exec Settings. From here we'll click on Storage. Now by default, this, these are the storage defaults that you're going to have when you uh, set up a new backup job. So the overwrite protection level is set to partial and prompt before overwriting imported media. What we're going to do is we're going to change to none and don't prompt so that way it will automatically overwrite uh, media as needed and if we don't notice it it will uh, continue to overwrite anyway. Uh, media override options we can overwrite scratch media uh, before overwriting recyclable and uh, that will typically leave uh, just where it is. Disk-based storage devices limit backup exec to read-only operations on a disk storage device if it has been uh, detached for X amount of days. So if you have a device that is offline for a while, you may want to increase the amount of days that you can still read from that uh, device. And uh, by default, it'll just go to read-only if it doesn't communicate with it after a certain amount of days. So uh, we also have limit backup exec to read-only operations to a disk cartridge. Uh, this is for tape devices. If you're still using tapes, you can also change that as well. And then you can also tell it to all, uh, allow backup exec to delete all expired backup sets. Typically, we don't do that uh, because we want to make sure that we have uh, certain tapes or, or disks available for years and, uh, because a lot of people need to keep their backups for at least seven years.